Medicine of World War II. Presentation by Grace Knickerbocker. Voiceover by Lisa. She is Australian. Quick summary of World War II. World War II was a six year long war that went from September 1, 1939 September 2, 1945, and was between the Allies, US, Great Britain, France, USSR, and more, and the Axis powers, Germany, Japan, and Italy. It was years of appalling war over many things such as Nazi Germany wanting to take over, diplomatic relations repealing, and straight up political conflict. Throughout the war there were many severe injuries, death, and even new discoveries of how to help the injured and the dying, and that's where medicine comes in. Introducing World War II single quote as secret weapon. Medicine. World War II was a time where huge medical advancements were made and they can be known as the new and best weaponry during this time. During the war there were a great need for surgeons and doctors to help the injured. Medicine was becoming the number one needed weapon for war. But this war gave the people of medicine an opportunity to make these advancements while saving the lives of militaries and nations. In high expectation Brian J. Ford said, If any good can be said to come of war, then the Second World War must go on record as assisting and accelerating one of the greatest blessings that the 20th century has conferred on man, the huge advances in medical knowledge and surgical techniques. War and the doctors of the world rose to the challenge of the last war magnificently. This quote was found on http colon slash slash www.historylearningset.co.uk slash world dash war dash two slash medicine dash and dash world dash war dash two slash it all started with sulfonilamide. On March 24, 1935, the discovery of sulfonilamide was made. Sulfonilamide greatly affected the mortality rate of soldiers in World War II. The American soldiers were given instructions to immediately sprinkle sulfur powder on any open wound to help prevent infection. Each soldier was issued a first aid kit containing the sulfur powder and a bandage to cover the wound. This was one of the first and most important medical advancements during the World War II. This gave the US slash Allied forces a huge advantage during the war. Blood Plasma On May 16, 1939, the invention of blood plasma was made. In the earliest times of the war blood plasma is a liquid that brought many soldiers that can keep them from the verge of death. As the war went on, Scientists eventually developed a more sufficient blood substitute, serum albumin. Eventually in 1945, whole blood, rich with oxygen-carrying red blood cells, were available in medical facilities nearby battlefields. Blood Banks On October 16, 1940, the first blood banks were brought upon the Allies. During the war, it was discovered that when was as injured or on verge of death blood plasma and blood was necessary. The Blood for Britain program, which set goals to receive and examine blood for soldiers had limited success, but the American Red Cross came to help receive blood donations from mostly New Yorkers, which became a massive success. Methamphetamine On the opposing side, the axis of power's drug choice was methamphetamine, especially the Germans which kept them alert, awake, and functional, without sleep, for hours or even days. 35 million tablets were sold between April and July 1940 alone. On April 5, 1941, under the opium law, the tablets were banned. Despite the law there was later a shipment of 10 million tablets that were sent to the soldiers later that year. Mepacarine for malaria. Especially during World War II. Mosquitoes were a major problem. With mosquitoes came the disease malaria, which during the war costed many lives. On a July 18, 1942, a doctor by the name of Sir Neil Hamilton Fairley created a tablet soldiers would take once a day to avoid catching malaria. This freed people from obtaining their serious and fatal illness. World War II Army Hospitals Towards the conclusion to 1942, there was a realization that there was a failure to provide sufficient care to the ill during the war. On February 6, 1943, the Secretary of War made the decision to invest in six army hospitals. These were made in order to provide great medical care to improve U.S. performance. 
Penicillin. Towards the final years of the war, the discovery of penicillin was made, which is a treatment for bacterial infections during the World War II. The penicillin decreased the number of deaths, wounds, and amputations caused by the infections. Among the Allied forces, the penicillin saved 12%-15%, which statistically speaking that is a lot of lives saved. On July 12, 1943, the War Production Board made up a plan to distribute a mass amount of penicillin to troops in Europe. The Development of the Serum Close to the war's conclusion, dried blood plasma was replaced by serum albumin, which is the most abundant protein in human blood plasma. The serum albumin was preferred due to its easier access and application and became a standard for U.S. Navy to contain on them. This was a huge medical advancement and improved in sufficiency and to a quick recovery. Works cited. HTTPS slash slash www.timatos.com slash timeline slash medicine dash in dash world dash war dash ii http colon slash slash www.historylearningsit.co.uk slash world dash war dash two slash medicine dash and dash world dash war dash two slash